Hey guys, I'm Nagato Chan and welcome to my reaction for Devilman Crybaby. Okay, I'm not completely blind going into Devilman because I read original manga and gave it 9 out of 10. It was amazing, depressing, depressing, but at the end, a little bit beautiful, awesome, I would say. And I read uh, Devilman Lady, which I didn't rate it that high because it wasn't that interesting. I just love Devilman more than Devilman Lady. And I w uh, maybe I think I watched some one OVA, like of the old. But that's like kind of all I got from Devilman franchise because it's huge there is so many shit <laughs> and when I heard there is going to be adaptation I was actually very excited but didn't have time to watch it so it's been a few years I think I read it around 2015 or 16 so I know it's very violent there's a lot of gore but also it was really good I really enjoyed it so that's a about it kinda I don't really remember that much like uh, the like, what the story was about kinda ish but like all the details you know I have bad memory so it's actually good that I have bad memory and I just seen uh, only few artworks from this anime and I really loved it and I think I heard one soundtrack music bit of soundtrack and I really love it too so it looks like a great combination and hey why not to remember why I actually love Devilman to begin with right so I'm going to start with this I'm excited I'm really really excited <laughs> I love Devilman it was really great manga even like it was really really old and has this kind of weird art style of the old times I still really loved it. Yeah, it was really great. So, checking this adaptation. I'm going to start it right now. 25 minutes. Okay, Netflix, I got you. I got you. Original series. Ooh. I need to watch Castlevania too. Go, Nagai. Man. I need to read more manga from him. Okay, it's starting and I just already love it. Oh, this is great. I love that. Okay, imagery. It's starting and I already love it. Oh my god. Ah, uh, this is my jam. Oh, I love the art so much. So good. The art style just really fits it, from what I've seen, just the pictures. I love this opening. Man, human. I guess that's what they're seeing in the back. Ah, oh, the imagery of the opening. I'm already melting. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm into this. Oh my god. This music's so good. Oh goodness lord. Okay, this is too white. What's happening? <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, this shot. Oh, <laughs> this shot. Mmm. 
I love the art style so much. Just going crazy with it. Exactly what I would expect. Goodbye. Music is really good. And the ambience. Wow. They are really preparing this opening scene a lot. Aww. Aww. It's making me remember, no! It was so sad ending. Oh, this is going to be depressing as hell. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ, this kid is nuts. Uh. Hmm. I love the narrating voice. Why are you making me feel already? Because I remember the ending. Oh, this is going to be experience. The relationship I can't. <laughs> I love the voice acting. The narration. Okay, thank you bots, I guess. I love the art style. It's kind of like wonky but fluidy. <sighs> yep. I like the music. Mm. Okay. Wh why do you... Have this coach then. Oh my god, the music is so vibing. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> oh, things are getting back to me. You don't want to believe me. You you don't want to know about demons in this. Hmm. Okay, she she loves this. Good question. She's such a nice girl. This dude is just zoning off. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. He's not normal. Oh, I know that voice. Today, Kenshiro? I hope so, and that's some creep. Really think? Do you really think that? Well, guys, I don't have a really nice, good message for your future. <laughs> 
Hmm. Or not. We don't care about that. Okay, slow down with the excessive blood. <laughs> oh yeah, I think this is a starting point, right? When things are slowly starting to get crazy and creep and... It will be very dangerous soon. <laughs> hey. Nope. <laughs> nope. I'm sorry, girl. Uh, I guess. I love the music in this. Soundtrack is really good. And I love the visuals. They're really, really good. Simplistic, but just amazing. <laughs> What's this? Okay, guys. Nice, actually. Yeah, I mean, impressive, but... Nice music, though, guys. You out of nowhere. Yeah, like, what the hell, man? <gasps> Talk about creeping. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these guys. Well, oh, okie dokie. Oh my god, I'm just gonna walk to this freaking soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> who cares? Yeah, who cares? This dude is dangerous. This dude is something else, believe me. But they're friends. It's real. He's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that would be reasonable, right? Don't follow Psycho like that. Good lord, that, that guy has a thing for Akira. I mean, she, she, she is supposed to be... <laughs> oh, if you think so. Yeah, it's just like, fuck all of this shit. True. True. Who made a soundtrack for this place? It's so cool. Hmm. Well, I guess you can find a lot of interesting stuff in there. I guess he does not feel good. Okay, English. That sounds actually pretty good. For Japanese show. Even though... Netflix help? Oh, 
Oh, well, we're having an interesting scene there. Jesus Christ. <gasps> yeah, um, have fun. Hello there, yeah, um, not human anymore. At all. Impressive English. Yeah, some of them did this. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I don't know if that helped though. The image red. Because he wasn't human anymore. Exactly. Yeah. The whole humanity will be turning into these beasts. I wouldn't say the thing about no emotions they have. They just prefer the strongest, the fittest, survival rules. Hmm, true. Exactly, they love evolving. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's kind of like a... Some kind of disease spreading. But it's this. Exactly. We're having outbreak of devils. <laughs> How lovely. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of crazy shit happening in Devilman Lady, which is kind of like alternative lurid reality or something. Well, 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 well. Ooh, nice. Colorful. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, Akira will be fine. Hmm. Things will uh, be very complicating. Their relationship. So cute. Kinda sad. Kinda horrible. And all the stuff. I mean, music a lot bit so much. We're having a crazy party here. Of course. A lot of buds. A lot of these. <laughs> oh, Akira, you innocent boy. Yeah. Eh, 
Well. A lot of drugs, a lot of fun, a lot of drugs, a lot of stuff, a lot of bugs. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. There's a lot of possessions in the world. That's why the violence. Crazy measure needs to happen. <laughs> Crazy measures needs to happen. Hmm, I guess it's the drags. Like getting right, crazy for real. You have no idea who he is, boy. This man. Okay, it's like, what the fuck is happening? What's going on? Answer. <laughs> well, that probably hurt. Look where you got yourself into. That's for believing guy like you are, man. Yeah, these people are crazy. Well. And things are getting crazy, even crazier now. Yeah, welcome demon. Mmm. Yummy. Not the music in the background still getting crazy. Yeah, uh, time to panic, I guess. I love the visuals, really. It fits the craziness of the story pretty perfectly. And I was like, yes! <laughs> Talk about crazy, creepy shit. Oh, wow, there. Yeah. It's happening. <laughs> Yep, people are getting eaten, and killed, and all the stuff. Oh, that's a nice shot. All these demons are awakening. <laughs> yeah, that's why he went here. Ryo is crazy, bitch. Still kinda feel sad about that whole story. This is so surreal. Poor... Poor Akira. For real. Poor Akira, witnessing all of this. Trusting his friend, and his friend is like, Yeah, I have a party for you, we're going to summon a demon. Also, I'm going to get super fucking crazy and kill people, and then all the demons are going to get here, and I want you to get possessed. Um, how do you feel about all of this? <laughs> Actually. Well... Kind of. And it's time to get super crazy. Oh, I forgot he actually changed a bit. Yeah. That's Akira, I know. I remember. Oh, the red looks pretty cool. The music. Ryo has a very nihilistic outlook, depressing. Which, how the things ended, yeah. <laughs> Not surprised. The music. Poor Akira, I feel really sorry for him. 
That's sad. Ah, the shields are so good in this. Oh my goodness, I love them. Yo, you have a ton of things to explain. Yeah. Yeah. This scene looks so good. I love. They're really artistically doing this very well. Wow. Pretty nice. And the song, ending song is really good. Wow. I like this. This song is amazing, the ending. I'm gonna look for a, such a such a great ending. This part is pretty cool. Ah, oh, this this was pretty nice. Is there something else after this? Or it's just all the people which worked on this I guess. Yeah. Very good, very good. Okay, so this was our first episode of Devilman Cry Baby. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10. It's just a starting point, a starting of the story. Kind of progressing slow. It, it will get crazier, definitely. I don't remember exactly how it was with Ryo's motivation this early on. But yeah. Jesus, I really love the art direction and animation. It's very fluid and there are so many really beautiful shots which emphasize what's happening. Also, freaking soundtrack is vibing and like the ambience and all this shit really emphasizing also everything which is happening on the screen. So art and sound direction, amazing. Story-wise, it's still forming. I kind of forgot the details, but yeah, it it went from zero to hundred very quickly, and this is not even a <laughs> ah, this is nothing <laughs> compared to later things. Yeah, the narrating thing at the start was real, I think. Yeah, it was such a sad story. Well, yeah. A lot of bad shit is going to happen and a lot of depressing stuff and a lot of deaths and blah and gore and this kind of stuff. Yeah. I really loved it. I really loved Double Man. So I'm pretty impressed by this first episode and I'm looking forward to the next ones. Voice acting is also really, really good. Oh, well. Well, well. This is going to be fun, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is going to be hella fun. Craziest love story ever. <laughs> I'm going to tell ya. Craziest love story ever. <laughs> and it's pretty sad. I mean, love story. I would say love story. Given the fact how interestingly, interestingly, I mean, for Akira, Ryo was a friend, but for Ryo, yeah, I, I feel like from what I was giving from his character in person, that he kind of fell in love with Akira, I feel like. We'll see how it will be here. And I don't exactly remember if the fact that why he made him into Amon is because he wanted him to survive all of this because he believes the rule of the fittest that the strongest will survive and when he learned about all of this shit about demon possessing and demon awakening he knew that his friend would not survive if he wouldn't have if he wouldn't awaken Amon or the demon so I guess that's he why that's why he did that and I don't know 
if he knows about his own heritage at this point? Probably not. So I don't really exactly remember. But it was Rhea is very fascinating character. Despite his batshit crazy and very murderous and this kind of stuff, but it all makes sense. I hope they will say it here because I don't really remember that. <sighs> yeah, what a depressing look. Right? On a world and this kind of stuff. So no wonder he's like, well, I guess, whatever. <laughs> yeah, especially that ending. I was so sad. It made me, that opening scene with both of them as little kids made me remember the ending of the manga. I was like, why are you doing this to me? Making me feel so sad. That whole relationship was fucked up, but also sweet at the same time. It's hard to express if you haven't read or watched the story. Yeah. I hope I will remember stuff. Or at least they will tackle it here. But, like I said, visually amazing and soundtrack also on point. So, yeah, I guess that's all for now. Goodbye and see you next time.